You got your soccer ball? Do you like soccer? Hey guys, what's up? It's Danny, and today we're gonna to be talking about women's soccer. So for the past week, I've been debating on whether or not I wanted to start a soccer series on the channel, and I finally decided that why not just do it? Let's do it. So I got the idea to start this series from a podcast that we had found, and they talk about um, women's soccer, pretty much. And um, it was really great. They've got a lot of information, a lot of stuff that I surely don't know. I wanted to do a video side of it that's a lot less technical because I don't know the technical stuff, but I'm gonna try and talk about something about soccer. So growing up, I was really, I was never really into soccer. Um, my dad watched football and baseball and I ended up playing softball and a little bit of basketball. And then in college, I ended up playing rugby, but never soccer. I had a couple of friends in elementary school who were big into soccer, and one of them took me to a New England Revolution game a long time ago. That is really all the soccer experience that I had up until a few years ago when I met my girlfriend, who is huge into soccer, played soccer all growing up, played in college, and then played recreationally. She's not playing right now because she hurt her knee, but um, I'm sure that as soon as she can, she will be back on the pitch, which is a soccer term that I've learned. So once we started dating, I would go watch her play, and that was right around the same time as the 2011 Women's World Cup. She got really into that, and she was watching a lot of the games, so I ended up watching a lot of the games with her and started really getting into it. The Olympics came around, and I got really into that. And then we ended up getting into MLS and we would go see a bunch of the New England Revolution games because we lived in Massachusetts at the time. And then um, this last year, we watched the Men's World Cup pretty much religiously. And then um, of course, this year we watched the Women's World Cup and I got super into it. After the World Cup, she found out that the NWSL streamed their games live on YouTube. We started watching those, and now for the past couple of weeks, we have been watching those. For this first episode, I don't really have much to say other than my introduction of why I wanted to start it and favorites and all that. The NWSL, which is the National Women's Soccer League, uh, there's nine teams total, and their season consists of 20 games. So you have 10 home games and 10 away games. The season started in April, and it will run until September. And in the middle of September, you'll have your playoffs, which will include the top four teams, and then um, you'll crown your one victor. So I live in Florida and there are no teams around here. I grew up in Massachusetts, so there is the Boston Breakers that I could default to, but we ended up getting really into the Houston Dash, uh, partly because of some of the US players that are on the team. You have Megan Klingenberg, Mo Bryan, Carly Lloyd, but also we found a show online called the Ella and Erin Show, and that is Ella Masser and Erin McLeod, and, and it's just a fun little show that they do. So we got really into that after learning more about Ella and Erin. Um, they're another big reason I think that we're into the Houston Dash. They're both hilarious and um, I think are doing good things for the LGBT community as well. That's another plus for me. If you like this video and you're up for learning a little bit more about soccer as I learn it, uh, give this video a thumbs up. And if there are certain things you wanna know or you want me to find out or you wanna talk about, then leave comments in the comment section below. If you are new to the channel and you just found it for this soccer video, there's gonna be more soccer videos. So subscribe to my channel and that way you will know when I post a new video. I'm posting videos every Monday and Thursday. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I've got.
Cheers. So just a disclaimer, I am still very much learning about soccer and in no way am I an expert on women's soccer or soccer in general. 